Good afternoon, everybody. Fan Man Steve here once again. It is Monday, November the 7th. I hope you are, you are all enjoying your day. Today, I am going to be doing a demonstration of a comparison of my two Wizard Box fans here. And I have made, uh, I have made numerous videos uh, of these fan here fans here probably more than any any of the fans out of my whole collection um but today i'm going to be doing a another video of this because uh i have finally gotten a another another different model to this fan here and as you as you all know that I own I own officially four of these now. This one I got back in January, so I've had this technically for the last ten months now. And this one I got this one I got back in August. I just this was the this was one of my recent acquisitions. And I just got this out of storage too, by the way. And this is what I've been using uh uh throughout throughout the day but anyway uh these these are both uh box fans made under the the wizard brand and this one here which is the two speed reversible as you can see has a few uh a few other different features than the one to this one. This is just the basic uh, rollabout rollabout model. These are the ones that are that were uh, mounted on the stands, and this has the the two speed uh, 4.0 amp rated Westinghouse shaded pull motor, and it also has the the rotary switch there on top. And no, that is not the original. I actually just replaced that just recently too, by the way. And uh, it does, it still has the original motor. Basically, the only thing on it that I had to replace was the power cord and the switch. But yep, this has rated a 4.0 amp and 150 AC. And it's a two-speed, of course. This one is a reversible, and it ha this has the carrying handle, and I do believe this is the original. And if you look on the side here, that that has that that strange uh, little that strange little oval thing there on the side and this is where the holes were mounted in the stand were mounted for the stand and this is I do believe this is the uh, the window unit because it's the exhaust fan it, it it's a reversible and it has the carrying handle so I guess these were designed designed for windows of pulling cooler air into a house an exhaust an exhausting exhaustion for the heat in the summer and the springtime and this one uh, I actually found a power rating on it read it this one is a 2.6 amp motor and it is a 115 volt so Both of them are very powerful fans, but this one seems to be a, a tad bit powerful because it is a, a shaded pull motor. And these, however, from uh, from what I have from what I have recently discovered, that these motors, which are called the GE Export motors, um, are a little e are are a little less efficient, and 
every every one of these fans that I had ever seen either had the Weston Cows motor or they had the the GE motor, particularly the the reversible model. Um, these motors, from what I've been told, were uh, more prone to failure. Um, they were they were wired with a uh, less thicker gauge and these motors uh, probably were the were the ones most notorious to, to failure or or a burnout or whatever but um, no problems with this one just yet um, this is a really good fan this is what I've been using for the past uh, two or three nights. And another, an, the other similarities and differences between these two fans is that they both have the blade, blade design, which is the four printed blade set. You look on the back of the blade, they have the little, they have these little, these little things here on the back, and that is to help balance the weight. This one, however, has the exact same thing, but there's two on this blade and there's two on this one and there's two on that one but this however only has one and this blade this blade set appears to be even heavier than this one and I found that out and you know as I was taking the fan apart and when I was cleaning it so I guess that with these fans they they uh, these blade these blade sets were designed and built differently for these for these motors that are uh, that are built on these fans <clears throat> this and another difference between this fan you look there at the the corner right of the fan this has the box which goes over the wiring of the fan and I do believe that is to to keep the wiring from falling into the fan as it is running. This one, on the other hand, look there at the top. It does not have that. It does not have that little box, which I find a uh, find a little strange because um the other fan the other fans that I had seen of this particular this particular design and model are pretty much wired wired the same this is the first of the first wizard box fan like this of this model that i have owned the the first three that i own are all the are all of the same model which is the 6jc3020 i could not make out of what model this was and I have done some. I have done some research, and uh, this could be the 6JC2050. I'm not exactly sure. This, however, has the toggle switch, and one is for the exhaust position, and of course, this is the the high, medium, and low, and off position. Now, I can't be exactly for sure, but I do believe that these switches were were replaced at one point. And how I spe specify on this is that you look here, 
that looks like that looks like that is the printing from where from where the the switch plate was on this fan at one time so it's possible that the the original switch to this was replaced if you look there it has the printing there much like this all all of the fans like this uh always did have this have the uh the switch plate but i'm pr i am absolutely certain that these were were replaced at one point i don't think that uh even with these uh with the even with these heavy duty toggle switches that these are not the original i even tried uh i even tried getting information off of the seller and, and uh i wasn't able to get anything off of them and another uh really cool cool feature about this fan is that you look at the badge and it has the it has the wizard logo in cursive and it also has this on it too the little crown like thing in the snowflake and it is painted a light green and that is in really good shape too by the way it actually it actually retains uh, the same paint to it it's not scraped or wasn't faded out or anything like that this one however uh, has the has the same print that we saw on a lot of the wizard Western Auto products and it even has it even has the uh, the amp rating and whatnot on it. <clears throat> I did I did redo this too, by the way. That was kind of faded out and, and corroded out when I first got it. And of course, that is the hole for for what is mounted on the stand. This one, however, does not have the holes to does not have the holes to the sides. Well, I guess I can go ahead and uh, and fire these things up. I'll fire them up one at a time, and uh, I'll basically I'll just you know I'll just run them from from both speeds, and then I'll power them down, and then we'll get a coast down time. Let's go ahead and start with this one. Let's go ahead and let's start it up here on the high speed. Okay. Very powerful. It's putting out a, a nice, a nice strong breeze. The air, air quality to these fans are magnificent. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop it down to low. There's really not that much of a difference on the uh, on the speeds of this fan. It's more, this is this the low speed on these fans are more like a more like a medium a medium low speed. And truth be told, the uh, the air volume running on either speed really isn't all that different. At least to my opinion. Okay, go ahead and we'll power it off. Both of these fans are still good on lubrication. I wasn't that long ago since I old both of them, so we should get a good uh, spin down time on on both of these.
Don't mind me while I while I chug down on my coffee. These uh these pregnated uh bearings on these uh on these motors just go on and on and on. This took at least about took at least about three minutes to, to come to uh a complete stop. Okay, there it goes. Okay. Now we're gonna get a demonstration from the reversible here. Go let's go ahead and start it up on high. This one has a cool startup sound. Okay, so this is running on high speed, and it, the airflow is coming right towards me. I'm sitting right directly in front of the fan. It, it literally feels like the the air volume, the airflow is is a little bit more powerful than this one. This is a this is a lower rated amp motor. Okay, let's drop it down to low. Now low is low on this fan. Now uh, there's not really much of a high, a high or a medium uh, difference with with this one. The low speed on this does uh, does appear to be a lot slower. The airflow is a lot is a. Uh, is a lot less uh, a lot less massive okay let's kick it back up to high and we'll get a spin down And now we will watch those heavy metal blades spin down. Yeah, this one is literally taking its own sweet time. Yep, this one definitely, uh, I think this one took a little bit, uh, longer to a come to a complete stop. Okay, now that I have demonstrated both of the fans here, what I'm going to do is, is that I'm going to have both of them plugged in to my power strip here. 
and I'm gonna start them both up at the same time we're gonna we're gonna see them come up come up to speed at the same time and then we will watch both of them come to a stop at the same time okay hopefully the camera will capture this I'm doing the best I can here because like I said I still do not have my tripod on me I'm gonna turn the power strip off and I'm gonna turn both of them on high on the high setting okay now I will start both of these up at the same time here we go Okay, so we will watch them coast down and then we will start them both up on the low setting. Do 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 Hmm. Okay, now we'll start them both up on the low speed at the same time. Repeat the same thing. That's about as much as that one is gonna is gonna go. So we'll go ahead and we'll stop them now. Sorry about that, folks. Well, it looks like the red one is uh, is coasting down fa even faster than this one. And I think this one came to a stop first. Well, how about that? The green one came to a stop first. Well, well, there you have it, everybody. 
there is a comparison between my two wizard box fans i hope that you all have enjoyed this fun video and and i will try to get more of these uh of these old comparison videos on here very soon put in comments like subscribe and let me know what you thought of the video and there will be more videos to come i hope that you've all enjoyed and have a good day That'll do it for now. Bye-bye.